I think it's right here. Oh, cute. This feels like it's gonna be a little tight for six people. I would love to raise four children. I'm just gonna say that again, out loud. Okay, anyway, we're not doing that because we have two <laughs> children and that's perfect. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Nobody goes through the front door. Nobody no. does? Hi. Hi. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to our home. Hi. Thank you guys so this much for coming. This is the front entrance. Nice, nice, to nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Hi, guys. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I like this neighborhood. Yeah, it's so, it's so nice over here. Yeah, it's a great uh, neighborhood. She grew up here. It's quiet. I know we figured it would be the great place to raise a family. That's great. Well, 13 years in a house. Yeah. What are you guys kind of running into right now? Um, each other. <laughs> That's the biggest thing, <laughs> really? each other. All of you. <laughs> that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Can we go inside and get a little tour? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Right, let's do it. Come on, let's go. OK. OK. So this is like the Grand Central Station. Go so down. this was like designed to be a mudroom right out here. But it's not, it doesn't seem like it's enough. Yeah, and the storage. Definitely not. Okay. Okay. What would you like to see in the kitchen? Because it's tight, yeah. obviously, well, for six yeah. people. Because I know the kitchen in our house is where everybody spends all their time. Yeah, everybody gravitates to the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. It's like, a, like I said, it's really Grand Central Station. Yeah. Everybody's in and out of here. Can I ask you if there's, is there anything in here that matters to you that has to stay? that's really important, things that you own? For me, it's the horseshoes. Okay. Um, my grandmother, she always had a horseshoe above the doorway. Okay. And it's like this Irish thing, yeah. supposed to bring good luck. Okay. You know, we, we've had them that's up there. Cool. Well, I'm not messing with them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything like pretty that you would like? Yeah. Is there a way that you always kind of like imagine this space would feel? Um, country. Okay. I think it should feel like a homey yeah. country kitchen. What about you, Mike? Yeah, kind of the same sentiments yeah. echo, just warmness. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah. Good to know. All right, so show us the rest. We'll start okay. towards the front of the house. Okay. How do you guys utilize this room right now? It's everything room. Okay. All purpose functioning it, room. As yeah. you can see, we have a library area, games, exercise. Okay. <laughs> this is our everything table from yep. eating to kids' homework. I work from home at times, so I have my work from home set up here. He works sometimes until like seven o'clock at night. He'll be on the phones over yeah. here. Okay. While I've got this, the five of us yeah. eating dinner. You know, it's always like shh. Yeah. Shh, it's too much. It's a lot. What would you like to have in here? A dining room. Okay. A dining room, a real like dining room. Like an adult person yes. dining area. Okay. Her ideal space is just a cup of coffee, a chair, and yeah. just pull these shades up. I like looking out, like just watching, watching what's yeah. going on. I love seeing the outside. Yeah. That's ideal for oh, we me. We have to make that moment for yeah. you. Yeah, we do. Jerry <laughs> yeah. always says, like, it's not just about how you decorate a house, but like the moments that really matter to you oh, in the yeah. home. And yeah. that is such, like, as a busy mother of four kids, what a nice beautiful, moment. simple moment to to want to reach for. For sure, those simple moments are actually the really, the really important ones, yeah. I think. Okay, so this living room isn't a priority. Mm -hmm. We talked about the idea of the kids potentially playing somewhere else. Where are you thinking they would play then if we took the primary play area out of here? Down. Basement. Oh, basement. basement. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to see. Watch your step, okay? Okay. Oh, wow. There's a ton of space down here. So right now, it's fair to say it's a pretty blank canvas. Yeah, but yeah. really good ceiling height down yeah. here. You've got natural light already. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this would be a good spot to kind of bring like the art and everything yeah. into? Okay. Yeah. Because it's quiet down here. You know, my dream of always the basement is having a nice big TV, a nice big couch. We can all sit down and just watch a, a movie yeah. yep. and just relax. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about budget for a second. What have you set aside for this? Mm -hmm. You want to go over that one? Yeah, so um, we have about 120000 set aside. So mm -hmm. with that money, we're hoping to readdress the kitchen, mudroom, dining room, mm -hmm. and the basement, yep. correct? Yep. OK. So we can't expand the footprint. We have 120 k It's a lot of money, but it's a lot of house, and there's a lot of things that this house needs to be for this family. Yeah, there's a lot of boxes we have to check. We always pull imagery for our clients to help us get a stronger sense of their design aesthetic. And for Mike and Lisa, we're looking to create an elevated country style. How do you feel about doing something, since they do love country and they do love traditional, with a little bit more movement here in the cabinet and a little bit more detail than we normally reach for? The, I think this is as much as we need. Agreed, yeah. We don't do country well. Babe, speak for yourself. <laughs> I have like Western belts. Oh, I do. I don't know if that's the takeaway. I might actually adopt like a cowboy boot. Oh no, babe! Yeah, I don't I'd think I like could do. Tall. I don't. I don't think cowboy boots Look, are the vibe how tall for I would you. Be. 
Let's talk about their floor plan. The big issues being obviously flow. Their kitchen's terrible right now. They're using the majority of it for storage. Mm -hmm. To make this practical and beautiful, we're gonna give them a brand new kitchen layout with state-of-the-art appliances and lots of cabinetry for storage. Open wood shelving will capture that warm, country feeling along with natural stone countertops and floors. And then we'll address the mudroom by giving Mike and Lisa all the storage they need for their busy family. And then the next step is what is currently their catch-all. We can both say that it needs to become an actual dining room, right? So Lisa loves a moment. She's like one of those neighbors that likes to sit and watch everything going on. So if we put in a bay window and create a window seat, she gets that moment where she can just chill out at the end of the day. It'll be the grown-up room they wanted with applied moldings to give it some architectural detail, but it will also be perfect for everyday family meals with a large table and plenty of room for six. We'll also save them a little bit of money by refinishing the existing hardwood floors, which are in great shape. So one of the things that when we were in that dining room that I really loved was that bookshelf that her father had made. Right. I think the lines are really beautiful and it's actually kind of whimsical. I know we're still working on the layout, but we're definitely going to finish the basement and give them another family hangout spot, a workspace for Mike, and a place for the kids to play and do artwork. And I think that's actually where we could use their grandfather's bookcase. The idea, babe, would be we could flank this cabinets like that. Like Sorry, kitchen cabinet. It's a terrible drawing. But, but I get it. And then the center, we could put her father's piece that he made. Painted. If we painted it. So Pretty. it like, turns into like this really fun, interesting thing. There's yeah. tons of organization. I think what we're doing is we're addressing the layout in a way that doubles the square footage that they've been living in. And they didn't have to add on? No. Again? No. Oh, that was his boom, guys. So excited to see this. Wow. Well, the coats and boots are gone. Wow. All right. The kitchen feels a lot bigger with everything got a lot out. Done. Refrigerator is now tucked over there. The oven, oven will be there. That's a really beautiful moment, I think, architecturally. Yeah. And I like the symmetry with the window. Can I show you some materials while we're in here? Yeah. Okay. We've got a couple floor options. So that wood is for the dining room, but we're gonna do stone tile in the kitchen, right? Yes, my sample got broken in transit. Okay. Because it's my first day. Okay. Something like this. I really? love this, in a yeah. brick pattern. Sold. Okay. Great. Don't you know what else I like about this stone? Hmm. I like that it is not like a uniform color. Yeah. And so I think for a busy, active family, it doesn't always have to be spotlessly clean mm -hmm. since this is the main thoroughfare. So I think that this is a really good choice. Wow. It looks bigger. So we've been thinking about this basement, which the family has never really used except for storage. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, is that as much as we'd like to open up the upstairs, we can't really do that downstairs because it's got to serve a bunch of different purposes. Yeah, I don't think we can keep the space downstairs open. We're kind of thinking of dividing it into two spaces. This would be a wall essentially yeah. in the center. The first room would be dedicated entirely to the kids. It'll serve as an art space, a playroom, homework space, and a kids hang out, incorporating some of the special family heirlooms. And on the other side of the wall, let's build a second family room with a super comfy couch and a big TV for family movie nights. And in the corner, we can create a dedicated workspace for Mike. At Lisa and Mike's, we're putting in new windows on both sides of the kitchen, which will match the new bay window that our contractor Rob was able to source for us. As we're on the way to go appliance shopping, My excited, favorite. he loves it, kill me, um, we get a text from Rob and it is not great news. Oh God, look at, this is that, oh, that's oh. the window, look at that. The Dang. whole wall is gone. Rob, no, <laughs> Rob, what are those photos? What's, wait, what's going on there? Well, obviously, you can tell by the pictures that the water damage was a little more extensive than we anticipated once we opened up the drywall on the inside. So, okay. it's something so here's what happens. Jer has this beautiful notion of Lisa sitting in the window, having her coffee in the morning, having her wine at night. But in order to do a seemingly simple thing, adding a bay window where there once was none, all of a sudden we find out from Rob that we have to redo the entire exterior of the house. It's that old aluminum siding. It's not something we can match to repair it. So unfortunately, what we're probably 
probably going to have to do is just change the siding on the front of the house. The entire house. The old, well, at least the front of the house, so it matches. What, so what is something, what is a surprise like this going to cost us? Additional labor materials, you're probably looking around 5000 now we have to take almost all of the contingency budget Not all. and redo almost all. We were gonna have to replace that window regardless. We were gonna find that mold regardless. So we are crafting this amazing, beautiful moment. It, yes, it's a little bump in the road, but it's worth it in the end. Now that the bay window has been dealt with, the siding replacement is well underway at Mike and Lisa's. And today, we're taking delivery on the new kitchen cabinetry. We're not only giving them a more functional layout, but also more usable storage and a homey country feel that Lisa and Mike will love. We're putting in new HVAC in the newly finished basement. And in the dining room, applied moldings on the walls would give it a paneled look that will make the room feel formal and grown up. The family tradition is alive. Look at this. <laughs> oh my this gosh. is out of this world. Holy cow. It's so adult. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I know. Let's take a walk. Let's check it out. I don't know if I belong in this space right now. <laughs> no, we do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this table. It's perfect. It's a cool, great, right? yeah. it's great yeah. for a young really family. Neat. This yeah. material is like, I mean, this table could go outside. Yeah. So that's how durable it so is. It's impermeable. The kids can't wreck this. This is so cool. Oh this room used to be your everything room. Now it's the grown up dining room you wanted, but it can still serve more than one function with a comfortable window seat for Lisa. And look at this cozy nook for Mike with this beautiful lamp. It's not the leg lamp lighting, but it is very nice. <laughs> I, I do like it. Oh it's, my it's... God. <laughs> this I doesn't can't... even feel like our house. It's the homiest, most beautiful adult <laughs> dining room I have ever seen. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Holy, Holy cow! I can't believe this is a... It's big! <laughs> it just feels big! <laughs> Look at the archway! Doesn't it feel twice as big? I feel like we could do cartwheels mm -hmm. through this whole space. Yeah. I feel like I'm not gonna worry about the congestion. Well, can you believe the difference of just pushing this wall back a little bit? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Yes. This feels open it, now. It is. It is. Feels like one flowy It flows space. and it opens it up exactly how and we wanted it to that was our be. problem. What you had before was sort of like part mudroom, part pass through, part cramped hallway. But this is a kitchen for a family of six. <gasps> oh my God. Mike. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this space. This is on. <laughs> Unreal. I don't know what to say about this. It's perfect. I don't even, I'm so overwhelmed by this right now. Look at Ellie's artwork. Oh. Oh, beautiful. This is something else. Oh my gosh. This is my dad's. I was wondering where that would be. I should have worn some different mascara. <laughs> it's okay. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we did make a decision to put a wall up and divide this space into two, and then on the other side. <laughs> Look at this. this space. Look at this. Oh my. God. <laughs> the size of this TV. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm more than okay. Yeah, wow. Just, is... Oh my gosh, Mike. Now you've got a desk that you can actually work at and yeah. not be bothered. Look at the lighting. Oh my <laughs> the lighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't Again, think Again, I, I can't even think uh, of words to describe no. like what you guys have transformed this house into. Isn't it wild? It's and the new crazy. windows with all the natural light coming in here now? Yeah. It doesn't even feel like you're in a basement, a basement. at all. No.